pickandrepair.com. We're all in this together. Hey, yo, Ed over here at Pick and Repair. Uh, here to talk about injector sizing and pick'em tunes. So if you have 155 over stock nozzles or smaller, so if you have um, you know, OE nozzles or 155 over stock nozzles, you want to get our standard size injector tune. If you have 155 30s or bigger, then you want to get our large injector tune, okay? Now, you're like, well, hold on a second. What if I want to tune now, but in just a few token months, by golly, I'm going to be getting larger injectors, and, you know, will you walk us through that? Sure, we sell injectors too. But in that case, if that's the case, probably what you want to do, even though you have standard injectors now, you probably want to go ahead and pick up uh, the injectors for a, uh, as if you have large injectors, they still will run your conventionally sized injectors. Uh, it's just that you're not going to get all of the benefit out of, out of the tune. You're going to get like 80% of the benefit out of the tune by going with a large injector um, tune on standard injectors. But then later, when you get the larger injectors, they'll be all set. If you elect to not do that, if you elect to get standard injector uh, tuning now and then later you want to go ahead and you want to upgrade your, your injectors, your truck's going to local because it's got a cam in it. Not good. And so then you're going to want to go ahead and, and, uh, and either send the thickum in to be retuned or get a loaner tuner. Uh, in any case, it's, it's additional money you're spending to do that. So if you want to avoid that spend, um, even though there's a slight discount involved, uh, just avoid the spend and, and go ahead and, and pick up tuning for the injectors that you're going to have soon. Or, um, rather than just go ahead and, and pick up for the injectors that you have right now if there's a discrepancy there. All right? So, FICRepair.com, we're all in this together. Hope this helps somebody. Take care. Bye-bye.